Pangako Sayo Season 1 The first season of Pangako Sayo, a Philippine romantic melodrama television series, which is a remake of the 2000 television series of the same title on ABS-CBN, premiered on May 25, 2015 on ABS-CBN primetime beta evening block and worldwide on the Filipino channel and concluded on November 13, 2015, Directed by Rory Quintos, Dado Lumabau, and Olivia Lamassin, the series stars Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla as Ina Macaspac and Angelo Buenavista, together with an ensemble cast consisting of Jody Starr, Maria Angelica Panganeban, Ian Veneration, Amy Austria Ventura, Ronnie Lazaro, Andrea Berlance, Diego Loizaga, Dominic Rock, Bernard Palanca and Joan Baskin. Jody Stahl, Maria, who portrays Emma Powers, was part of the original 2000 television series and played Laia Buenavista. Plot The story begins with Emma Jody Stahl, Maria, a nursing student whose dream was to become a chef. She was a scholar of Buena Mines, a mining company owned by the Buenavista family in the town of Punta Verde. To aid her family, with expenses, she cooks and sells food to generate income. She frequently sells her food at the Buena Mines corporate offices, where Eduardo E. In Veneration, the eldest Buena Vista son, works. Amor confronts Eduardo regarding the mining of her hometown that kills workers and is afraid that more people, including her father, would be casualties. Amor and Eduardo then develop a friendship that turns into romance, much to his younger brother, Diego's Bernard Palanca, despair. Meanwhile, Dona Benita Buenavista Pillar Palapal refuses to accept Amor and Eduardo's relationship. She forces Eduardo to marry Claudia Salamda, Angelica Panganeban, the illegitimate child of the incumbent governor of Punta Verde for business purposes. Claudia has lived with her physically impaired mother and was joyous of having to marry Eduardo for a better life, even though she is in love with Simon Alex Medina. She promises Simon that she will continue seeing him once she is married. Eduardo refuses to marry Claudia, and Diego puts himself forward to marry Claudia instead for the family. Claudia becomes upset and consummates her love with Simon. Eduardo consummates with Amor. After publicly announcing the engagement of Eduardo and Claudia without knowledge and consent, Amor becomes heartbroken. Diego rushes to her side. He visits her constantly to explain that his brother was not at fault. One day, he picks her up from school and insists that he just wants to comfort her. He becomes drunk, admits that he has always been in love with her and rapes her. Meanwhile, Claudia has followed the two and witnessed the entire scene, not stopping Diego. Diego is put to prison and is influenced by his mother not to tell Eduardo the truth. Desperate not to be jailed, Diego insists Amor was lying, and he did not rape her. Amor goes to Eduardo against her father, Peeps Ballboy Garavalo, and best friend, Betty Mees, Erica Padilla, wishes. She asks him if he believes her. Eduardo, hurt by his previous relationship, could not make up his mind. However, during his engagement party, he realized that he could not leave Emmer and rushes to her house to beg her to forgive him only to find out that he was too late. The De Jesus family no longer lived there, unknown to him that his mother, Dona Benita, evicted Emmer and her family from the town. Emmer learns she is pregnant. She lives a quiet life with her family and daughter named Maria Emmer. She leaves Maria Emmer to her stepmother, Cheyong Charmaine Suarez, Peep stepbrother Lester Jess Mendoza, and younger sister Nina Kimberly Fulger, and goes to Hong Kong as a caregiver to fulfill her dream of giving her family a stable life. The Buenavista's mining company, now managed by Claudia Buenavista, has been mining in Talampau, the town where Amherst family now resides. Claudia refuses to listen to the warnings of dangers of the mine and forces the miners to work causing a landslide to occur. The landslide kills Amor's entire family except her daughter, Maria Amor, who has been saved by a lowly policeman, Francisco Macaspac Ronnie Lazaro. She is named Ina by the policeman, 
after noticing the broken necklace she wore Ina, originally on Amorata, a gift of promise from Eduardo to Amor. Maria Amor was misidentified by Betty Mee when she saw the dead bodies of Amor's stepmother and her neighbor, her Ms. Rubai Rubai daughter. She tells Amor that her entire family has died. Amor returns to the Philippines and also to the now ruined Talampau, swearing that one day she will avenge all that has happened to her family. Twenty years later, Maria Amor now, in a Macaspac, Catherine Bernardo, is as kind-hearted and hard-working as her biological mother, Amor. The Macaspac family that adopted her is poor but good-mannered. Eduardo, who is now the governor of Punta Verde, and Claudia have two children, and Gilo Daniel Padilla and Laya Andrea Berlance. Fate brings Ina to Angelo. Just like her mother, Amor, Ina's passion is cooking. She works a chef in Angelo's restaurant, Casa Corazon. Angelo's restaurant gives Ina scholarship to properly study. Soon Angelo and Ina fall in love, and despite Claudia's attempts to ruin and sabotage, Ina fights for their love together. Meanwhile, Amor returns to the Philippines from the United States as Amor Powers, a widow of a wealthy but abusive American businessman named James Powers Uncredited. Amor has returned to avenge the death of her family by destroying the Buenavistas, which unwittingly will hurt her own daughter, Ina, in the process. An all-out war begins between Amor Powers and Claudia Buenavista. Cast and Characters Characters Main Cast Catherine Bernardo as Ina Macaspac slash Maria Amor de Jesus, Daniel Padilla as Angelo Buenavista, Jody Stahl, Maria as Amor de Jesus Powers, Angelica Panganibin as Madame Claudia Salim de Buenavista, Ian Veneration as Eduardo Buenavista. Supporting Cast Special Guest Episodes 1-2